Hi lovely fire signs, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is an intuitive guided reading for August the 2nd to the 8th and it may resonate with you and it may not. If it does, please push like, subscribe and notify and if it doesn't, just go and watch some other lovely reader. So if you've got the uh, second in, or two in your numerology chart, you like to cooperate with people. You like to weigh things up before you make decisions. You can see both sides of a story, so you're really good at being a counsellor. And this goes through till the 8th. Now, 8's like to be in control. This is a money number, and you can be really good with money or not so good with money. But you tend to make your life harder than what it needs to be. Okay, let's get on with it. So we'll do tarot card readings for the week. And then we've got guided lovely messages from angels and ancestors from Kyle Gray. Okay, so we'll have Leo, Sagittarius and Aries at the end, all right, and a lovely Louise Hay message too. So, shall we get on with it? So, thank you, our lovely guides, spirits and ancestors. What have we got for the coming week, please, for the lovely fire signs? Thank you very much. Okay, so there's no time in the spirit world, so whenever you watch this is the right time. Oh dear, the last reading started with this too. Be patient. You've got the strength and you've got the knowledge, but you've been waiting for something and you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're saying it's coming, but be patient. And actually the card right next to it is the Seven of Swords. So it's like, this is a card too where you've felt in the past that you've been lied to, ripped off, cheated, let down, goals haven't been achieved, all those sorts of things, that you've learnt from all that and you're moving forward. So some of you, this patience is you may be waiting for news for a new job or a place to live, that sort of thing, or something you've been waiting for, but you need to still be patient. This card here is she's packed up all her belongings and she's moving forward. So this is about changing your thought pattern, move out of fear, uh, false emotion appearing real and move forward so whether you're you are actually physically moving or mentally moving change your thought patterns so even though you've got to be a bit patient think of things differently and look at things a bit differently okay right let's go on so that's approximately monday so like i said no real time in in the spirit world but we're now going for tuesday yeah you've been overthinking stuff or worrying a little bit um, this can also be uh, somebody who's backstabbing you, gossiping about you, so don't buy into that. This is a five, it's about choices, freedom. So you're choosing now, as you can see, she's moving up. You're choosing to move out of the darkness now, you're moving forward into the light, okay? Let's have a clarify, please, for that five of swords. You're going up, you're getting out of that little bit of mental confusion that you've had, okay? And clarifying it is, oh, not another one. Hanging in there. Okay, so some of you have been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen. And you've been making sacrifices while you've been waiting. And you've been doing things that, um, you know, to make things happen. Maybe you've been trying to manifest outcomes and nothing's been happening. You feel like you've stagnated. You're stuck. This is a card of telling you, hang on. Start looking in a different direction. Start changing the way changing your thought patterns and the way you look at things so that you can move forward and you can change the energy patterns so this is like look outside the square look at things from a different point of view okay you're still being told you're going to have to be a little bit more patient so right wednesday what's happening wednesday approximately so you've got the king of swords here whoops uh oh okay so you've got the king of swords here so some of you this is you're dealing with somebody who could be a lawyer uh, an intellectual person who works with their brain um you know somebody like that who knows the truth or who she he could be an it person but this person works with their brain now for others of you this is you you know the truth now you are guided from above here and you're smiling there quite happily because you know the truth and you've been seeking the truth and now you know it and right next to it is the justice card. So I feel for some of you, you've got some sort of legal dealings. And there's the lawyer and there's the legal papers coming through. For others of you, you've been seeking the truth and now you're getting the justice in your life that you deserve. And for others of you who there's legal papers like a contract or something, it might be a new job, it might be a new house, you've got some sort of papers to sign. But whatever it is, we're going to all the fire signs get the justice that we deserve, which is going to bring about a healing. See, it's such a lovely green colour, and it's going to bring back the balance into your life, all right? 
So Thursday, what have we got for Thursday? Approximately. Thursday, yeah, there's some sort of offer coming in too as well. I've got an offer or an invite coming in as well. And you're being told to use your imagination or use your intuition to work out whether you want to actually do this and whether you want to ex accept it. But I can see you're standing there quite strong and um, quite stable and um, using your creative ability too. So for some of you, it could be to do with the arts, uh, that sort of thing, to do with the invite. All right, now clarify please for the Princess of Cups. It's like an offer from the universe too. It's going to bring about stability in the workplace or in your home life. You'll have everything organised and balanced. Fours are like that. They're like everything organised, balanced, ticking along quietly. This is a card that's meant to depict happy relationships, but in this pack, they look totally bored. So I think this pack is telling you, even though you've got everything organised and balanced, don't forget to go out and have some fun. All right? So Friday... Friday, what's happening Friday approximately? Yeah, you're coming up with new plans and new ideas, okay? You've got something on the horizon. Like I said, this is about you've learnt the truth or you've sought the truth and now you've got the beginning of something new. It could be even just an idea or a plan that you've got in your mind rather than actually starting something, but you've got the idea of it now, okay? And what's the clarifier, please, for that? I think it's a new beginning, so it's like quite a new beginning um, you could be, okay, they're on, the, it's funny, because these cards came up, and then I flipped them past, but I'm going to read them, seeing they're still there, that is, it's a new beginning, oh, shivers, yeah, you've come up with a new plan, they're saying jump in, go for it, it's a good life lesson for you, okay, go for it, you'll be working with others in conjunction with it, so don't be frightened, see, it's lovely, happy, and yellow, this is a card too for some of you where you're getting in touch with yourself. You're learning about your your uh, psychic ability or your ethical beliefs in touch with your, um, I mean, in balance with your physical world as well. But for others of you, it's um, able to work with another with other people to create something new together and have faith because you're being guided. They're telling you from above, they're giving you the blessings and think outside the square again. Keep doing things your way. This was a card that used to represent the church and their rigid views, but now they're saying, no, keep doing things your way and you've got our blessing. So that's fantastic. I think that virtually covers the weekend anyway. Yeah, okay. So you're being creative. You're coming up with something new in the weekend. You've got the new creative plans. For some of you, you're feeling like your emotions are going up and down, up and down. But just remember, everything still ticks along outside your world. It all just goes along okay. <laughs> and um, so this is a card of breaking through any illusion or disillusion you have about things. But this is a card of coming up with great new uh, creative plans, creative ideas. It's wonderful. Okay. So that's you guys for the week. Going to be creative and new ideas and plans. Woohoo. Now, let's see what the guided messages are. So, Leo, you're first, and you've got Shapeshifter. And, okay, Shapeshifter, actually one of the others had this too. Transform and unveil your gifts, Leo, okay? You may have been through many challenges and lows, but now you're in a space of transformation. You're moving beyond your past challenges and honing your current strengths. There, there are opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with and born to share. All of your past experiences have only helped you see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you will share in your lifetime. You are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. When this card arrives, there's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your spirit animal. Note if you're seeing a particular animal regularly because its medicine is coming to you, Leo. Okay, now your angel messages are, tell a loved one how much they do truly mean to you. It's better to tell them why they're amongst the living. Okay, sometimes what you seek is as simple as being still and staying focused, Leo. Now we move on to Sagittarius. You have got Mirror Guardian. Okay, 
Time to take, oh, take time to reflect, Sagittarius. You are a beautiful being who has surround, surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you've surmounted, the strengths you've developed and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want to re you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged or by others. Offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. Okay, Sagittarius. Now your guiding angel messages are the beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek. Reconnect today. Peace is just a thought away. Okay, and now we've got Aries. Shaman. Wow, Aries. Sorry about the noise in the background. Okay, Shaman. Trust in the higher forces. There are spiritual allies working in your favour and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to, to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies, Aries. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The Shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way, Aries. Okay, now your guiding messages from the angels are trust in your, your intuition more. You do have inner sight. That goes hand in hand with that. I love that when that happens. You are a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You're never alone, Aries. Now, the other guiding message for the week for everybody from Louise Hay is, I am on an endless journey through eternity. Today is a very exciting time in my life. I am on a wonderful adventure and will never go through this particular experience again. Okay, lovely people, thank you so much for watching. Push like, subscribe and notify if this is for you. So have a wonderful, wonderful week. Blessings to you all. Ka kite anō. See you again.